All right, I'm back again. I'm very excited today. This is my favorite part of card collecting is buying a little collection. Now, this is a box of cards I got on uh, Facebook Marketplace a few days ago for only $12. And all I've done is peek inside because it's a heavy box and I wanted to make sure the guy didn't have bricks in there and just a few cards on top. So uh, I did look inside but I have not gone through it at all. And this is why I got into the hobby, wow, 30 some years ago, is to, you know, it's, it's like a joy. It's like Christmas morning looking through a box. Now, I don't expect anything great to be in here, but for 12 bucks, it certainly is going to be fun to go through some cards. So let's, uh, let's do it. Let's do it together. All righty. Let's see. We'll just grab a stack here. This might be a little longer of a video, but uh, so far nothing great. But you know what? It's it's fine. I've got my trash can right here to throw them in, <laughs> just in case. Uh, Scott Rowland, I'll keep that one. It's not bad. So these, it looks like mostly, oh, no, there's a basketball. It's like a lot of baseball in here from looking on the top. But it does it does appear to have some basketball too. I don't see nope, there's a couple of football too, so that's nice. Anyway, tell me down below in the comments what your favorite collection was that you bought or a box that you know somebody had a garage sale. And uh tell me, you know, I'd like to know how much you paid for it. You know, if it was a great deal. Like I said, for 12 bucks to go through a a garbage box is still fun for me. Oh, there's a Sosa. I like Sosa. I'm going to keep that one. That's a good one. Here is a rookie card. Oh, look at the look at the uh, corner. It's completely dinged up of Merkin Valdez. It's a shame. Because I keep all the rookie cards too. I'm a huge fan of uh, rookie cards. Oh, there's a Nomar. Ime Aduka. Yep. Okay, the finest are kind of cool. I still keep the finest. Jose Lima. Don't know this one. Upper Deck Game Face. I think I've never seen this card before. 2003. That's kind of fun. Horace Grant. Patrick Bates. Let's see. I'm going to try to go through this a little bit faster because otherwise this is going to be an hour long. There's an awful lot of cards in this box. Chris Young. Yeah, some of them are unfortunately dinged, but uh, that's okay. Doc Gooden. Tino Martinez. Royce Clayton, Belcher. Again, we're just going through, having a good time. Yes, that was the trash can you heard just now. I don't keep all this these extra cards. I know people will say in the comments, well, you should give them away to kids in a hospital or something like that. To be honest with you, if I was a kid in the hospital, I kind of want to see some stars. You know, I, I wouldn't want some guy from 1981 I've never heard of before if I'm a kid and yeah that that's just my take I could be I could be wrong if so I'm sure you'll crush me in the comments below whoops yeah nothing Byron Houston draft snapshot oh Vince Carter Antoine Jameson I like that that's cool uh that's a cool card definitely gonna hold on to that Charlie Huff. Roy Oswald. He was a great pitcher back in the day. Shrimp. We definitely have a... Uh, a there's a ding corner, but it's okay. It's Fred Manrique. It doesn't really matter. We have a... Oh, I'll keep Latrell. A bunch of different types of cards, which is nice. Hey, look at that. Actually, that card's in great condition. Nolan Ryan. I think that's his last year, 93. Yeah, I think 93 was his last year. 
in the major. So that's a cool card. I probably have a hundred of these, but man, that's in great condition. I love it. Tim Hardaway, definitely keeping that. So we've got some decent cards here. Freddy Sanchez rookie. I mean, you know, it's nothing to write home about, but Christian Leitner. Keep him too. Oh boy, there's just a ton in here. I love it. Andres Galarraga. I don't even remember him being with the Giants. Huh. What's this playoff momentum? Lawrence Phillips. Oh, I believe he tragically took his life back then. So, that's a shame. I do like the finest. I used to love the finest brand, so it's kind of nice to see these in here. Even though, again, they're, they're nobody spectacular, but still. Carlos Garcia. I just don't remember these here. Game face. Let's see, there's a ding there. Larry Johnson. I think that's his rookie card. Never know. I'll keep it and look it up. I got the giant uh, Beckett price guides to look up stuff now. Bo Jackson. You gotta love it. It's from 88 Tops, his rookie card year. So I'll definitely keep that. Love me some Bo Jackson. And who doesn't? Reggie Sanders. And that stack in file 13 right there. Wow, there's a lot in here to go through. This is wonderful. Just, you don't really find that many uh, great deals on uh, Marketplace. People have like 1990 Donruss and Fleer and garbage like that from the uh, junk wax era. And people think they're sitting on a landmine. They're asking 500 bucks for garbage, but uh, which is, amuses me. But, you know, that's the problem with, with uh, Facebook Marketplace is the big boom during COVID. Everybody thinks their collections are worth a fortune now. And somebody forgot to tell them it's, it's absolute trash. Paul Konerko, should he be in the Hall of Fame? I'm going to go with yes. Tell me below if you think so. Jack Morris. Uh, number Crunchers. Chuck Novak. That's a cool card. Phil Gardner. Wow, there's a ton in here. Look at that. Oh, boy. My God, so is a, an avalanche, a cartilage. Paul Sereno. I like Sereno when he was with the uh, when he was with the Indians. Yes, they're the Indians, no matter what you say. Ron Gant, Chris Hoyles, Jeff Branson. Wait, why did I keep this Phil Gardner? I don't want that. And the Brett Butler. What am I thinking here? Chuck Finley. Like I said, there's an array of different cards here, which is nice. Again, nothing spectacular, but that's what I said. It doesn't matter. It's fun to just go through. Brian Giles. I loved Brian Giles as a player. He was great. I, have a, I actually went and got some of his rookie cards and his autograph rookie card. I think from, a, what was that, Leaf from 97? Uh, ben McDonald's destroyed. JT Snow. Mark McLemore. Hey! It's Ricardo McDonald, but it's a refractor. Those refractors were hard to come by. So that's definitely a cool card. Any refractor I definitely want to keep around. The finest refractors were so gorgeous to look at. I like it. Oh, is this Mike Miller? Rookie card. Isaiah Thomas. Edgar Renteria, look at this. Oh, we have a 74 tops. Clay Carroll, Jesse Campbell, and a blouser. Would be a kick if I found something awesome in here. Again, this is more fun just going through stuff. Even if there's nothing in here of value, 
This is, oh, Carl Malone, like it. Uh, this is just the funnest thing for me. This is why I got into the hobby. Yes, I do sell on eBay. Yes, it's great when you have some good cards. I don't go out. I can't afford to go out and spend the uh, tons of money on on these new, uh, you know, C.J. Stroud autograph rookie cards. It's just it's not in my bank account, which is why I do these videos for the cheaper discount boxes. And I hope you appreciate that. Uh, there's there's an awful lot of people that I watch, and and nothing against these YouTubers. You know, God bless them, but I, I just don't know how they spend thousands of dollars every month on boxes of cards, the brand new stuff. They order cases and everything. And I, I like, do they have a regular job? Is this their only thing? Because if they put out a video every single day, you know, it's, uh, it's, like, it's like, wait, do, then do you not have a regular job? And this is your uh, Jamie Moyer rookie. You know, this is your only means of an income. Yes, you. I don't know what the monetary value is on on uh, YouTube. A nice Cal Ripken, never per compromised, but a ding corner. So, if you can see that, that's a shame. Ooh, JT Snow, right? Decent player. Can you see that? Number 12 out of 99, so that's pretty cool. Dave Justice. Wow, I did not remember him with the ace. That is crazy. When they were playing in their last years, it's just it's just bizarre. Like Frank Thomas playing for everybody at the end. Like uh him with uh I believe the Toronto Blue Jays just mystifies me. All right. Kind of whipping through these here. Uh, a cheaper Alonzo Morning rookie, but I'll I'll keep it. Trevor Hoffman, Hall of Famer, but his rookie card was 1992 Bowman, and that's from 2000. So everybody gearing up for the playoffs for football. My Browns got stomped like an arc at a biker rally last week, so, you know, where was that stellar defense again that they talked about? It, it certainly didn't show up. It was... It was an embarrassment. Ah, uh, that's that. Oh no, that's how the card goes. Chris Paul got a ding up there though. Geez, a lot of these are cool, but some of them with dings. Some very surprising, like like you know, uh, Tampa Bay destroying the Eagles. Whew, that was a shocker. Marcus Allen, good player. Hall of Famer. Eric Riley, yeah, I'm not going to keep his rookie. Brian Harvey. I keep the finest. Oh, look, there's another dinked corner there. Steve Finley. Try Neil. When I pick these up, I don't think the guy... Went through and pulled out the good ones. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think he did. But so far, I'm not finding anything too noteworthy at all. Otherwise, I'd be freaking out right now. We're getting down. Getting down to it. Hey, hey look at that. LeBron James. Nice. When he was still with the Cavs, 2000, this is 2009. So, like it, love it. Can't even pronounce that dude's name. We got a John Stockton, great player, keep that. Again, this game face, never heard of it. I'll have to look it up in my, uh, the Big Beckett, because really, I'm... I'm dumbfounded. And there's a ton of them in here. I think the guy was an Angels fan, maybe. Another LeBron James. Nice. Digging that. And we move on here.
Greg Maddox. That's a cool card. Keeping that. Tavion Banks. I think these were numbered. Nope, this one isn't. All right, there's Jose Ortiz. That's a nice one. But not who I'm looking for. And old 1982 Steve Nelson with the Patriots. All right. This is just the top layer. I haven't even gotten down to the, uh, the ones in a row. Again, this is going to be a long video. Appreciate you sticking around. If you're like me, you're you're just enjoying going through. Yes, I'm going fast, but uh, Maglio Ordonez, that's a cool card. Matt Williams, I liked Matt Williams. I don't know, a lot of people didn't like him, but I thought he was a great player. Ryan Zimmerman, oh, it's the national, it's the national baseball card. Um, uh, not a parallel. This is what they gave out at the national 2006 national year. So that's cool. Like it. Barry Foot Manager. All right. Pat Riley, one of the greatest coaches ever. What is this? Another national baseball card giveaway. Yeah, T1. Never seen those. I like oddball cards. You know, uh, ones that are regional food. Uh, food ones are also something I collect. So it doesn't matter who it is. If it's a if it's a funky card like that, error cards I'm a huge fan of. I have so many of them. Of course, everybody that knows error cards knows the uh, obscenity Billy Ripken 1989 Fleer uh, FF bat. I can't swear on here, so if you know it, you know it. Never heard of this guy. Usually I hear, oh, Larry Walker. I, I couldn't read that. Like, wait a minute here. Another Pat Riley, Rod Strickland. Hmm. Ozzy Gann. Bob Zupik. Never heard of that guy. Originals. Wait a minute. Is this a reprint or something? What is this? I have. Oh, it's 2002. Okay. I was confused there. Like, wait a minute. I've never seen that before. Again, nothing, nothing to write home about, but still a lot of fun to go through. And we're down to the last couple here in the... Oh, well, there's a Piazza. That's cool, Mike Piazza. Tony Gwynn. All right, now we're down to the, the rows of cards in here. I'm just going to go to the middle. Whoop! I bumped the mic. Bumped the camera, I mean. It's okay, it happens. It's allowed. Ooh, Jim Tomey. I collect that. Ah, it's got a ding corner. That's a shame. Todd Zeal. Charles Watson. Hall of Famer, but I still hate the guy when he did the Heisman stance. When they beat uh, Ohio State back in 90, uh, or 90. Was that 97? Yeah, when Michigan won the whole thing. Yep. Still stings to this day. He did the Heisman stance, and oh, oh, it just tore me up inside to watch. Fred McGriff, the crime dog, Hall of Famer. This is uh, this is not getting any better, <laughs> but it's okay. Oh, ding corner, but it's okay. It's Will Purdue, doesn't matter. Yeah, I think I need to speed it up here a little bit. Brian Giles. Trot Nixon. Oh, 
Omar. Well, he get in the Hall of Fame. I don't know. He was a great shortstop. Juan gone. That's a cool Allen Iverson. I like that. Going to hold on to it. Will the throw Clark. Chris Henry. Rookie card. Bartolo Colon. Should be a Hall of Famer. We'll see. Jeff Kent. Destroyed. No, I don't think there's going to be any surprise cards in here at all. I think it's just going to be <clears throat> fun going through. I don't know. Maybe I should stop this video and start a, start a new one because this is uh, this is going to be a long, long video. Ooh, gross hair. Yeah, this this might be one where I just finish it some other time because because it's getting. LaShawn McCoy, he was a good running back. Yeah, this is getting way too long. We're over 20 minutes now. So I might just uh I might just shut this off and tell you if I came across any good cards uh that's worth mentioning. Because this is going an awful long time. And we're not finding anything stellar, so. I wish I could say, look at this. Oh, my God, it's a banger. No, that's not going to happen, I don't think. So, oh, well, I think I'm going to shut it off now. I appreciate you all checking the video out. Stan, please uh, comment, subscribe down below. Appreciate the love. And we'll end on an Ozzy Smith card. Everybody have a wonderful day. Again, if I find anything, I'll let you know. It looks like they're... Might be some oddball cards in there from what I can take a look at and see. But other than that, I hope you had a great one. Talk to you later. Have a good... Bye.